Welcome to Lesson 63, subtracting a fraction from a whole number that's greater than 1. Now we know and have learned that we can subtract fractions from a whole number, which is 1. Um, or this is what we have, the types of problems we've already done before. Now if we were to have 1 minus 1 third, we would simply change the 1 to look as a fraction or to act as a fraction that equals 1. And we, use, we know how to do that based on what our denominator is because you cannot subtract a fraction or fractions with unlike denominators. The denominators have to be the same. So the 1 changes into 3 thirds because 3 over 3 is the same thing as 1. So then I can subtract 3 thirds minus 1 third to equal 2 thirds. So this is what we have done before. And we need to get into the habit instead of, if you're having difficulties on this and maybe having to draw a picture of doing 1 minus 2 fifths or 1 minus 6 eighths, then you need to get in the habit of changing 1 to look like a fraction or to act as a fraction that's equal to 1. So. We're going to now get into the whole numbers that, or whole numbers that are greater than one to subtract from. So the way that we can look at this is we have an example here that we're going to look at together that's at the beginning of our book that has a picture of four pies. Now I have four whole pies right here and I want to take away half of a pie. So when I start with these whole, four whole pies, I have to then take one whole pie and split it into halves, just like I've done here. So I have one pie split into halves. So now I still have my four whole pies. However, I have my three whole pies that are uncut, and then I have two halves. So then it looks like this mathematic, or written out as a number sentence. Four minus half then looks like three and two halves, just like here three and two halves, then I can subtract one half of the pie. And then my remainder, or what I am left with, the difference is three and a half. So this is how I change four. I simply take away one whole, and I change it into a mixed number, the whole thing into a mixed number that's still equal to a whole. These two numbers still have to be equal, so it's important to realize that I need to have my fraction form of a whole right now. I need to know how to do that. So the first example we're going to look at is fairly simple. I have a picture of three circles and I need, I want to write what this looks like as a whole number and what it looks like as a mixed number. So just like I said before, we have three whole circles shaded in. So part A, writing it as a whole number would simply be three. And you do need to write these down, please. And you should probably also draw these pictures. That way, when we go back over this in class, you can look at what you're actually, what kind of problems we have been going over. And that this is the same thing as three, and it is also the same thing written in the mixed number four is two, mixed number form is two whole circles and four fourths. So two and four fourths is the same thing as a three. So then I would be able to subtract either one-fourth or two-fourths or three-fourths in order to get an answer. And I would, I would just simply change the three to be two and four-fourths. So example two, we're actually going to solve this together. You do need to have this written down step by step. So five and one-third. What I need to do is I'm going to look, make the 5 look different. I'm going to write it as a mixed number so that I can subtract 1 third. I know my whole, it's going to be written as a mixed number, so I'm going to take away 1 whole. So then I have 4 wholes here, and then I need my 1 whole fraction here with a denominator of 3. So that means it needs to be 4 and 3 thirds. So notice how both of these are the exact same thing. 5 is the same, or 4 and 3 thirds is equal to 5. I'm simply rewriting it so that way I can subtract. 4 and 3 thirds minus 1 third equals 4. Remember, subtract whole number from whole number, and I don't have a whole number here. And I subtract a fraction from a fraction. So 3 thirds minus 1 third is indeed 2 thirds. So 4 and 2 thirds 
would be my final answer. Now if I were to have 5, let's say minus 2 and 1 third, I simply still do the same thing. I change my 5 to look like a mixed number and if I were to have 2, third, two and 1 third, I would do 4 minus my whole number which hypothetically would we, if you were to say 2 then it would be 2 and still fraction minus fraction 2 thirds. Now I'm telling you that because with the practice set problems that I have given you to do, do the very best you can on these. If you need to draw pictures, like we have an example one and we did with the pies here, you may. Um, highly recommend that for those visual learners. Um, but letter C, if you look at here, you have a whole number minus a mixed number. Still the same process. The whole number is the one thing that you're going to focus on changing and then you subtract whole number minus whole number, fraction minus fraction. Still the exact same process. Thank you very much for listening and paying attention. Don't worry, we'll be doing plenty more practice with these problems in class. Thank you.